Hi, I'm Sapien Tia. This is a very introductory step course for beginners. Today, Fundamentals 2. Why are mean and standard deviation shown in step textbook? Okay, here is a one common thing in every step textbook. That is, every statistics textbooks are starting with mean and standard deviation. But nobody asks why. Sometimes it looks like a normal because actually we have seen every stat textbooks started with mean and standard deviation. So nobody asks why. However, there is no natural things in the world, also in statistics. Here is an important reason. Anyway, you should remember that the essence of statistics is the magic of variance. So every time you must remember this one. What is the statistics? The essence is the magic of variance. Okay. Let me think one example. This is a kind of a uh, game. Okay, let's come up with your close friend. Anybody, it's okay. And then next, can you describe your friend to me? Maybe most people think about any word to describe uh, friends uh, very unique feature likewise tall or short long face or big eyes and long nose or thick lips if we want describe someone to others in that case we use the representative and unique features for describing if you should describe your data how can you do? So, here, the reason why we should know mean and standard deviation at the first stage of statistics is we need to describe our data to others with representative features. So, what is the representative features on your data? There are some examples, likewise, mean, median, standard deviation, variance, range, minimum, or maximum value. However, as you know, most statistics textbook very, very focused on the mean and standard deviation rather than others, like a median or range. Anyway, you must know the reason here. Okay, first, mean. Everybody knows what is the mean, or sometimes we call it average. Mean is sum of all observation divided by number of observations. Let me think of one example. Okay, now you have a data, likewise, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have only five observations. In this case, the mean is calculated by 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus, 5, and then divide by 5. So, the mean is 3. Yeah, it is easy, we know. Sometimes we don't need to calculate the mean, likewise these cases. But, what is the unique feature of mean? The meaning of mean average is the center of the data and this is the representative value from your data. The major focus is that mean is the center of your data. Also, um, there is a, some kind of a benefit or features of mean here. First of all, it is uh, very easy to calculate. 
Yeah, as we did it in prior uh, slide, it is very easy to calculate. But mean is severely affected by outliers. We know outliers. For example, one value is extremely large. In that case, our mean will increase. Otherwise, if one value is very, very extremely small, that case, the mean is decreasing. And if you want to go next step, next step is a standard deviation. So if you want to go next step of standard deviation, we must first calculate, we must know mean. So mean is the starting point. Okay. Next one is a standard deviation, sometimes variance. Of course, these two are different, but almost, not almost, exactly same meaning. Anyway, what is the variance? Variance is calculated summation of each observation minus average. And that value is squared. Okay, let me see here. This one, xi means each observation. And from each observation, we extract mean average. And then the value is squared. And this squared value is sum up. Finally, the sum up squared value were divided by n minus 1. Here, small n means number of observation. It looks difficult. Yeah, right. Sometimes. However, okay, let me see one by one. One example, likewise prior case, if we have a data, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, in the case, our mean, mean value is 3. So here, the x bar, okay, this one, x bar, we call it x bar. x bar is 3. This is the mean. And then when we calculate variance from each observation, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we extract the mean, 3. 1 minus 3, 2 minus 3, 3 minus 3, 4 minus 3, and 5 minus 3. And as you can see here, all values were squared and sum up all things. And finally, we divide by n minus 1. Here, n is number of observations. So, n is 5. So, 5 minus 1 is 4. So, divide by 4 is 2.5. Okay. It looks a little bit difficult. Anyway, in this case, in this example, it is not tough to calculate the variance. However, what is the meaning of the variance? So what? Next, what should I do? It is very important. Okay, go on. So here, the meaning of a variance is the average distance from mean value in your data. Let me check again. As you can see here, the variance was calculated like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, first look at the numerator, this part, numerator. Numerator is sum of differences of each observation and mean. Yeah. Okay, why should we square each value? The reason is, in this case, 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Here, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. If we just sum all these five values, the sum is 0. Because there is a plus and minus values are mixed. So if we just sum up all values, 
our result will be messed up. So to avoid this problem, we just squared each value. Squared, 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 and squared. And then we sum up. So sometimes we call it sum of square. Okay. And denominator, 4. Here, the denominator is calculated as number of observation minus 1. Why? This is a little bit difficult to explain now. However, I will explain it later. Simply speaking, in numerator, this part, numerator, this part, mean value was used for difference. One, two, three, four, five. So, this value was used in numerator we just extract one from the number, number of observation. Okay. So the meaning is, again, variance is the average distance from mean value in data. So the variance means, averagely, how long distance each observation from your mean because numerator is the sum of distance of course this distance is squared and denominator is number of observation of course we use n minus 1 anyway however it is very close to the number of observations so this is the average distance from the mean value. Here, denominator is called sum of squared. And the, sorry, sorry, the numerator is sum of squared. And the denominator is called as degree of freedom, DF. Um, as I said, it is uh, uh, very tough now. So, I will explain later. Anyway, you must just remember the name is degree of freedom and which is n minus 1. Okay. Uh, one more time. Variance is the average distance from mean value and variance is calculated like this. And this one is change it sum of square divided by degree of freedom and this is the average of sum of squared here to avoid some mess up we just squared all observation so if we take root here the root variance is standard deviation of course the value is different, but the meaning is the same for standard deviation and variance. Okay. But still, we have a question. Why we should focus on mean and standard deviation, not others? As I said, there are median, range, minimum, maximum, However, we only focus on mean and standard deviation in every stat textbook. First of all, the benefit is it is easy to calculate mean and standard deviation. Um, in textbook, maybe uh, following Gauss, the mean is the best way for inference the true value. Anyway, just to remember this one. Mean is the best, easiest, yeah. Uh, even very, not very, anyway, um, Gauss proved the mean is the best way for our statistical access. Anyway, we just know, okay, mean is good. And following Chebyshev over 
three fourths of data should be in the range of mean plus minus two standard deviation in any data. It is very um, complicated um, proof. Anyway, you just remember that the result is and the meaning is okay, mean and standard deviation is the best way to understand statistics. That is very important and you must remember that thing is all okay so here why every statistics textbook say about mean and standard deviation at the first chapter is because they are these two are the easiest way to describe your data and also it is best way to understand the statistics summary mean and standard deviation are best and easy tool for inference true value via statistics of course though it is unbelievable the two are easiest way to access statistics and uh, mean and standard deviations are the center of statistics so you must know this one and the meaning this is why all textbooks account for these two R at the first chapter. Especially, variance is the most important, I think. Because statistics is the magic of variance. Remember, statistics is the magic of variance. Okay, fundamentals 2. Why are mean and standard deviation shown in stat textbook? We will stop here today.